As a gamer, I tend to see myself as a fan of the indie scene. Some of my favourite games ever have come from independent developers, and that really isn't an understatement. Recently, though, I've started to get a little bit burnt out on them. I've been seeing a lot of games that are just the same thing with a slight tweak or a different skin on top of it, and it's really killed my affection for this wide and diverse genre. But today, we play a game that might have changed all that. So join me as I review Katana Zero. Welcome to How Bad Can It Be, the series where we look at games so you don't have to, and today, yes, we are reviewing Katana Zero. Brought to you by ASCIISoft on the 18th of April 2019, Katana Zero claims to be a neo-noir with breakneck and instant death combat, which aside from the neo-noir bit, sounds like it's probably going to be hell for me, but I do love neo-noir a lot, I'm willing to look past it and give it a go. So with that being said, let's jump into it. In Katana Zero, you play as this swordsman referred to as the Dragon, as you go about fulfilling assassination contracts provided to him by a psychiatrist who also provides him with a drug that gives him time-altering abilities, such as slowing down time and precognition. During these psychiatry sessions, you can explore more of the nightmares that plague you between missions. These nightmares help you piece together and fix your memory, working out who you are, and while the amnesiac character can be seen as a trope, the way Katana Zero handles it really keeps you engaged throughout. But the story is also something that the game tries to stop you from ignoring with a dialogue system that's pretty aware of people's tendencies to skip cutscenes. Instead, turning it into a mechanic where you just act like a dick and cut people off, with the game reacting accordingly. Aside from that fun mechanic though, the dialogue choices seem mostly superficial, all leading back to the same point anyway, with little flair for the sake of flair. Not inherently bad, but I'd like a little more consequence for being an absolute prick. To say this game looks good is a bloody understatement. Everything looks awesome in this game, and it's absolutely dripping in that neo-noir style it claims to have. The pixel art is stunning, providing a lot of colour to each level, with even the deliberately bleaker and more drab scenes like the ones around your apartment being visually engaging and not boring to look at. A lot of this has to do with the way 2D lighting looks in this game. It adds so much depth to the scenes and really draws you into each level. We can't avoid talking about the music in this game either. The glorious synthwave soundtrack, of which you've been hearing this entire video, is superb and really hammers home the game's aesthetic. Its pace is fast enough to accompany the tense fast-paced action, but it's also somewhat soothing. I actually found it quite good to just listen to the soundtrack and calm down a bit after I was getting a little bit frustrated with dying over and over again. It really brought something new to my experience with these kind of games. This game plays crisp AF, even with a mouse and keyboard. Everything you do feels satisfying, and when you get the hang of it, it becomes one of the most satisfying games I've ever played. There is something deeply gratifying about being able to have a clean run of a stage in this game, keeping a fluid movement as you slice through all of your enemies with ease. The main gameplay of this game is running, rolling, jumping, and slashing enemies through a series of stages en route to eliminating your target. Alongside that, you have your time-altering abilities, which allow you to slow down time to dodge things with greater ease or even deflect bullets. It's it's certainly one of those games which is constantly challenging you to master it, and despite the difficulties of doing so, it never really gets to the point of frustration. Or well, almost never, because quite frankly that minecart level can fuck. Each target is broken down into multiple stages in which you have to traverse. Sometimes these stages are stealth based, most of the time they're murder based, and good god are they fun. This game also makes the inspired choice of having the stages make use of your precognition. Instead of having you die and reset, each stage is presented as you planning out your attack, with the game over box instead saying, that won't work when you fail. It then rewinds and allows you to try again. When you succeed and beat the stage, it then shows the CCTV footage of the dragon actually performing the strategy. A little detail which adds so much to the game and contextualizes the player's failures in a way that makes sense. All of this makes succeeding in this game a euphoric experience. Katana Zero might actually be the best indie game I've played this year, if not in the last two or three years. Everything about this game shows an incredible amount of talent from those who made it, and it's really polished to near perfection. A few stages that seem to be placed there purely to frustrate the player aside, this game is definitely one that you need to pick up. 
the combination of intrigue provided by the world and the story, mixed with that satisfaction of both visual and audio design and the gameplay, you know, it, it really is one of those titles that you it's a must play. It's absolutely a must play indie title. And it's one that you're gonna wish you could turn back time and pick up sooner if you don't pick it up already. Hey everyone, it's me. I'm back again doing what I do best and that's make a game review. It's been a very long time since I've done one of these. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like. Why not subscribe to keep up to date with future Vivid Shim videos? We have a um, charity stream coming up in about 20 days time. And that's a 24 hour charity stream that's over on twitch.tv forward slash Vivid Shim. Uh, more is explained in that video, but go to the Twitter. I post about it quite frequently. I even posted about it before recording this. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing for a good cause. It's going to be great. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Leave your thoughts down below if you played this game. If you haven't, what do you think about what I showed? Have a wonderful day, evening, or wherever you are in the world and whatever time it is. And I'll see you soon.